All right. Let's continue Phantom Hourglass. If you're watching later, thanks for uh, clicking and tuning in. Yeah, I got up to here, so then we can just continue from here. So straight into the next part. Unfortunately, we gotta backtrack through everything, but... I think there's shortcuts we can take. Making sure there's no shortcut here. There isn't. It's on the next floor. Bah, bah. Ooh, different color now. Paul! That one is red. Why is that phantom red? It looks more powerful than the ones we had to face before. That evil monster is a swift phantom. As you may, might guess, they're much faster than other phantoms. Well, great. Even if they are fast, doesn't matter as long as they don't see you, right? He's right, so be extra careful and sneaky, Lankles. Oh. Do it all again. Do it all again. Repeat same dungeon over and over again. Oh, yes. Is that a crack in the wall? Or am I imagining that? Okay, just... Maybe it was just... Detailing and nothing more. Kidding. This one's a lot faster. Complicated this one. <laughs> All right. Anyway, oh, this is the gem thing. Oh, what? I was gonna say. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I 
just realized something. We'll see. I might not even have to do this. Maybe it wasn't here. Oh no, yeah, look at this. What is this for? No, it's from up here. Stop shooting arrows. Lonk, please. Oh, it's on a timer. That's cruel. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, shit. Okay, well. No, let's not be stupid. <laughs> Patience. More power gem to go. Ooh, this is a little bit more sketchy. I do like this game, I think the one thing that I don't enjoy about it is just this. It's not what I'm doing, it's the fact that I have to do it again every time we come back here. I just, I don't know. Recycling content. Makes the uh, the things that you get from beating bosses just feel a little bit inconsequential because all they're really doing is just giving you the time extra time required to account for the backtracking. I think it's the game's weak point for sure. annoying. Well, I guess now they're in sync, so that's fine. I'm 
Excuse me. I got a white. I mean, I, I do appreciate that there is shortcuts to this, but still. the boomerang. No need to aim. Just make it go everywhere. <laughs> Eventually it'll hit. Scout what's going on here. Probably not doable. Alright, go through. Uh now this thing. So we're finally at the crest of the door. Do you remember the shape? Write it on the door. These things let me, I will. Oh, 
What? Single strike. I swear it was like this. <laughs> Unless it's having that hard of a time recognizing it. Nope. What? It was 100% that. It was going down that way, I remember. Yeah, I'm Phantom, Hourglass, uh, Door, Draw, Triforce. Okay. This is... This is kind of annoying to do, but okay. Dude. Ah, it... Why does it just stop? Why does it stop? Oh, this is so frustrating. I don't know what I did differently there. What? Why, did, why is this so precise? Why does this have to be so precise? Like, this is... Not only does it not let you take your time, it forces you to rush it, and then it's like, nah. This is terrible. What is wrong with this thing? Chat. <laughs> Chat. Do you know one of those things where they, it, in theory, it's a good idea, but then in practice? Come on. There we go. Ah. No, that absolutely should not have been that... that temperamental to do. Ow! This room looks different than it did last time. Maybe we went through to another place when we used the crest that Zaus showed us. Okay. This is the door of courage. Only the power of courage can open it. Dark terrors look ahead. I'll share something with you that'll help you survive. What is that? 
Step into the light to save your journey. Time and return to the entrance. Step into the... Oh, thank you. Midway point, yes. Good, we don't have to go through all of this again. I don't know why they just don't do that at every step, to be honest. The skeleton is here or not? Yeah. They should have done it with the blue portal. Turn here any time with the power of the sand of ours. Improve your time by getting for a better chance. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Hey, Lankles, did you hear something? This floor makes a sound when you run on it. The phantoms will hear us. But the floor didn't make a sound when you walked. I get it, you have to walk slowly on these floors. Screw that. Bad. Could have been worse. Okay, so there's, there's leniency with this. Being greedy. <laughs> that was great of the highest magnitude. I just want to know where I can realistically step. Found the pedestal. Or a crystal. Should have made a note to myself. I mean, sure.
Hmm. Yeah, this... <laughs> I can't believe that Trifle Store was not lenient. Meanwhile, this... It's really inconsequential. Like, I'm running around here and there's, there's no problems whatsoever. Ah. I see. Wait a minute, did it just cross the void? It did. Okay, hold on. Stay right there. There's a bird shop. Okay. Oh, that's... wow. It's okay, it's okay. I still haven't found anything. Don's not moving at all. How we do that? Okay, circle. Means now I gotta bring this thing all the way back. Oh, what? I can't go this way. Fine, don't worry. <laughs> Under control. I 
I'm not amazing at stealth. Not a whole lot of time left to do this in. Oops, <laughs> my knee hit the desk. It's alright, it didn't hurt. I don't know if they came through on the mic or not. this about? Why am I interested in being up here? Phew, we've come so far. It'd be nice if this was the last floor, but let's keep going. It's not. Lankles, a pedestal. Okay. Square. Ooh. It's gonna be wasting a bit of time. to get through here. I'm gonna have enough time. brain move. High frames! <laughs> hey. I felt something behind me, but I turned around and nothing was there. Next thing I knew, the sand in the hourglass was powerless. I don't think he's talking about phantoms. Is there something around here? Be careful. Skulls. Hmm. 
turn back up. Okay, so don't turn... If I turn my back to it, it's bad. This game is nostalgic as fuck you. There was a part where you and your brother were stuck for ages. Did it involve having to stamp the map? I like this game. The only thing I don't like is just how this dungeon thing. You have to come through it multiple times. This is a little scary. to copy the map. Yeah, everyone gets stuck on that. <laughs> the way that I found it out, I gave up, and then I got called for dinner. I closed the DS, I came back, I opened it, it was done. And I was so angry. Uh-oh. Okay, I need to lead it over here. Follow, 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 follow the leader. I need to lead it further here. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Thank you. I don't know if I have enough time to do this. This is... This is a lot. I have a minute for- well, I guess I do, it's just, it's just gonna start draining my health. Just didn't go for the door. What? But that's all the gems, no? There's no... I guess middle area, let's see. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. What was the point on the other of the other pedestals then? Why did it make me put it in the other ones? Well just to open the doorway? Oh, this sucks. Careful, I can't get hit. So I'd have to take them out in a particular order? I do. Okay. Okay, no, 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 this makes sense. This is, this is not fun, but I get it.
Watch this move. <laughs> Strategic. Okay, now I need to go all... Ah, oh, this, this sucks. This truly does suck. Okay, go. Okay, well, it's time for the pain. I can probably make it. Have to eat a potion. We'll see. Oh, that's kind of a loophole. Okay, yeah, this is a loophole. <laughs> I'll just, I'll make sure that I, I heal up. I'm not gonna redo it, let's put it that way. <laughs> I don't mind the cheese here. I think I think this is this game's weak point is just this this dungeon. I don't remember, like this is the first time I'm playing this since it came out, so memories are very vague. But I do remember that I just do not like having to come back here, because you make progress and then it makes you do the whole thing again. So when I come back, I'm gonna have to repeat this, which is kind of annoying. Feels like something moved outside. How? That was a huge tremor. It's like the whole floor sank down. Okay, well, the good news is this is a safety zone. And there's the sea chart. Alright. At least that's accomplished. You did it, a new sea chart. Now we can explore a, oh, new areas of the sea. Come on, Lankles, time is running out. Want to head to the surface? I mean, this is the second set, so they said halfway point. <sighs> but it just means that I'm gonna have to repeat. Because when I go through here, it puts me at the start of what I just did, so I'm gonna have to repeat it again. And it's just... I think that's the weakest point of the game. I have to go through that entire ordeal again next time I have to come back here. So, what was the rumbling we heard? Unless it's talking about an upper level in here. Mm, 
doesn't look like anything's changed in here. Okay, leave it be. Time for treasure. There's a few things that I need to do before we go to the other sea. I hate that I have to scroll to see all of them stone. Like, I wish I would just keep the ones that I have at the top and not have these empty gaps. It doesn't look like I have anything from a set, so... It's a DS. It's got nothing to do with a DS. It's basic UX is you just have items that you have at the top. There are games in the 90s that do that. It's not something that's excusable just because it's on a DS. It's sorting. Okay, it's done. I'm saying that there shouldn't be gaps. It should be like, you know, all the items you have sitting at the top and then gaps underneath. So then you can see, okay, I have four and I have like 12 to collect. But as it stands right now, like I have to scroll down and I have to like try and keep track. They did it like a Pokedex. Yeah, like pretty much, except there's no numbers on it. Like, if it said 12, if it said, like, 12, right, it, then I'd be like, okay, there's 12 in total, whatever. Like, I have number 6. And if all, if all the number 6s match, like, let's say number 6 in every list was stone, perfect. I can, I can get with that. That's easy. But it has none of that. It's just, oh, it has gaps for no reason. I don't realize that there's more unless I scroll. <laughs> I don't mean to be, like pedantic about this but I do this for a job like this is this is what my job entails is I look at people making products and I point the stuff out where I'm like no you need to change this and this is why because people will find it hard to use anyway that's why I'm pointing it out <laughs> I can't help it okay Alright, so I got some treasure spots that I can go visit, so I'll go do that now. That's probably a bad part. Hang on, go like that. Oh yeah, I gotta see the big frog first. I mean, I've already shot that one. Uh, oh, no, okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, I feel like I landed on that fence, but okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I feel like I, I should not have landed that, but okay. Oh, 
What DS am I playing on? Um, I'm playing on a, a 3DS. Like the, uh, the first 3DS, not the, the new one. But I've had it modified so it has uh, a capture card in it. singles. They're just too risky. Oh, I'm gonna, like, go for a single and then risk having to spend 50 if I take a hit. Wow, that was close. I hate how it sways. Stop, 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 stop. Guess that's nice. All right, uh, next. Ooh, we got the Ice Queen. Wait a minute. There's something else I was supposed to see on this island. I think I was supposed to deliver a letter. I can't remember if it's this island or. We'll find out. <laughs> I wasn't ready. be remembering incorrectly. It's one of the islands we have to de deliver a letter that I already have. For the new save as a path you have to take. Yeah, typically. Like, I know. But I want... There's backtracking I want to do first. Like, I'm not stuck or anything. I know what I need to do, it's just there's other stuff to do. Where is she? Maybe it's not this island, maybe it's the next one. I'll just go in the houses and see. 
Oh, what to do? How can I possibly tell my husband that our seeds seem to grow weeds? Okay, it's not this island. I'll find it. It's definitely not Cannon Island, so I know that much. So the only other island to the south, what is this island? Isle of Ember, maybe? Let's see. Involves strength. Yeah. There's still a treasure chest up north that I haven't gotten. Doesn't look like there's anything else except the fortune teller. Which, eh. Those water physics, I wouldn't even call it physics, it's just a texture moving left, up, down, right. It's a flat plane with <laughs> a texture, which is nothing wrong with it. It's... I mean, I was wild with the original DS just being able to pretty much run a Nintendo 64. I mean, there were 2D games on this thing. It wasn't all just 3D. Like, the Castlevania DS games were excellent. Uh, I think we might run into it if we go this way. I might have to course correct here. It's just too annoying. Castlevania has been on basically every system, except recently. There's no new Castlevania games just because the company that owns them makes gambling machines and that's pretty much their interest these days. It's just that. But the DS ones were very, very good. first game I imported as well. Because the release date for Australia was like six months later and I didn't want to wait, so I imported a copy from the US. Because that's what the reality used to be. Things would release in Japan, then America, then Europe, then Australia. And by the time it got to Australia, it was just a really long time. Be 
you could play Game Boy. Oh yeah, the, the slot it had. Yeah. But they ended up getting rid of that. Go away. Okay, let's do it. Seems to be the same as last time. big one. That is definitely worth going for. Oh. Surgical. I should be on the edge this time. I guess it's the same either way. I'm doing much better. Did I buy this game? Of course I did. I'm playing this on a on a real DS. And that's not sarcasm, like legitimately this is a copy of the game. <laughs> Just I don't know. Sometimes it, it would sound like I'm being sarcastic, like, oh yeah, I totally did it. Wink wink. How much was it to rebuy it? I don't know. This is my copy of the game. Wouldn't be able to tell you. But knowing how bad it is to buy stuff online from eBay is, it's probably expensive. eBay is just annoying. Word has it that the ghost ship hasn't been seen for a while. I wonder if some far off hero has defeated it. What a hero he must be. You can only imagine what a lazy bones you are compared to such a hero. Oh yeah, I picked this up earlier. Glad I talked to you. Yeah, I mean, the thing is... It's very hard to get second-hand games, at least retro ones, like, for a fair price these days on eBay or anything. Because there are pretty much people that treat eBay as a career. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's almost in the same line of scalping. You know, a game that sold millions of copies, they'll buy them in bulk, like, try and get as many copies as they can, and then they'll try to sell them for, like, over a hundred dollars. Particularly the Pokemon games. The Pokemon games are notorious for that. Like, some of the DS Pokemon games. I've seen just on YouTube people complaining about it, that there are just these Ebayers trying to sell it for $200 a copy. So, you know, they've, they've pretty much ruined being able to collect games. It's just... That's the reality of it now. The only way you can really get these sort of games is to go to like a, a flea market or 
a garage sale where it's just not eBayers. This game is going from 27 to 54. I mean, that's American, right? So that's... It depends on the game. Some... Whilst... I guess some of them are fine because once you adjust for inflation, it's not bad. Right? If you consider how much the game cost with that money back then, and sure, it's like it's older, it's retro, fine. There's a little bit of a premium on it, but games like Pokemon, it's just these... The world's largest franchise, by the way. Like, the biggest children's f franchise, for sure. Sold millions upon millions of copies, and then there are these Ebayers selling them for $200 a pop. And it's not because there's copies in shortage, it's just because that's what, you know, they know it's popular, and Nintendo doesn't sell them officially, so they're like, yeah, we can charge what we want. I have heart gold and soul silver, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I have the ones that matter. <laughs> I don't have to... There are a couple of games that I do want, like I would love a copy of Pokemon Crystal, but that's another one of those games that they're trying to charge $200 for, so, yeah. I don't mean to rag on resellers, but like, it's just, they're annoying. It's kind of in the same realm of scalping, but not as bad. Decided to follow my, yeah. Seems like my own first step is to make money for the trip, so on that note, this is the shooting range, you can play. Okay, cool. Like... I'd say, I don't know how long ago, but... Going to Japan meant you can purchase retro games there. And even that's, like, not really doable anymore. It's kind of like these... A lot of people... Between gamers and people that are trying to just sell old games on the internet, they've kind of drained it, or made it with the same reality where it's just a ridiculous cost. Those games are in Japanese. Sometimes it's fine, though. Um, because Game Boy Japanese games, or at least old ones, like we're talking NES and Game Boy, those games... Uh, often, some of them wouldn't really change that much from from Japanese to English. It's really just the ones that were story-driven. Pokemon's are different because it's an RPG. You can't change the language on the old ones. But I'm talking stuff like Mario, uh, Kirby. I mean, even the Mega Man games. Like, you can still play the Mega Man games. There's no real need to to know what text is happening on the screen. It's just lore, right? Like, I have the Mega Man games in uh, as a Japanese copy. Because getting English copies is ridiculously expensive, so... I might have to change the, uh... Okay, I can. Hold on. Let me do this so, you know, it's easier for you to see chat. What's going on? Realistic representation of what I'm seeing. I mean, you can just spam. There's no, like... Am I gonna play the new Resident Evil 4 game? Uh, never got into Resident Evil. It's not my thing.
Ah, oh, I see. No, there is a combo. Whoops. I mean, I, I can appreciate that the remakes look cool, but it's just not the genre of game I play. worth 50 a shot now. I guess it's better to be accurate than to hit them all. Ah, crap. Oh, no. Ooh. Shit. Damn. It's not easy. I think you have to pretty much... I'm gonna put this down on the desk, it's just probably easier. The other thing is I have big hands and this is like such a small stylus. <laughs> it's just taking used to. And this, I don't know, like, the touch screen is slippery as well. I'm not gonna get it this time. It's not that, okay, it's not that it's slippery, it's that the pen slides very easily. And at this point, I don't care. Just... Everything dies! That's so bad. I don't know if I got, like, bad luck there or what.
I might see if this has a worthy reward or if it's just... Ah! Making my hands so uncomfortable. Shit. That was going well up until that point. Ah, oh, I don't like this game. All right, hang on. Let me see. I'm gonna see what the reward is. Uh, archery game. What other rewards? Okay. Mm Shit. Yeah, this is not good. The reward is a heart container, but it's like... shoot it like that. Oh, I must have detect- that's the problem is I can't rest my palm on it otherwise it detects the palm as input which yeah then that happens. gonna drive me insane. I might come back to this later. So you have to pretty much not miss to get the, the heart piece. I think this is a little bit much. Mm. 
<laughs> the worst part is there's a heart behind this, so it's like if I want to get all hearts, I have to I have to finish this. I think this is a bit too strict. Or at the very least, the combo ending at 50, I think, is the problem. Oh, crap. That was a misfire. I do fine up until the part where they start moving. That's where it goes to shit every time. Could have, I could have gotten 1400, but it's still. This is this is not gonna. Okay. I'll have a couple more goes, but I might have to come back to this. Maybe when I haven't had like a full day of work before. Oh, fuck off. can see how it's getting closer. Okay, I'm going again. I'm just, I'm paying attention to the screen. I've got my face buried in it. I wish there was a quick restart up. Oh, you can quit minigame. Yeah, okay. That's good.
fuck! Oh my god. I keep nailing that wrong thing. No, this is gone. But I might still get a prize for it. No. I think the problem I'm having is just large hands and I can't let the bottom part of my hand touch the DS touchscreen because then it registers as, as an input. So having to hover above it. It's taking some getting used to, but it's just... Ugh. It's not really aim that's screwing me over, it's just the fact that I have to have my hand hovering above the touchscreen in such an awkward way. Which you don't have to do anymore. Like, these early touchscreens, this is how they used to be. They wouldn't have palm detection at all, like... Basically anything touching it would register input. two at once, and there's, there's just no way I knew that was about to happen. <sighs> the member berry. No, I, I got the South Park reference. But I guess I'm not thinking of it fondly. <laughs> this is like... Being grateful about new things, as opposed to wanting things to be old. Look, I... I am happy for modern touchscreens. This had palm detection? Oh man, this would be so much easier. I could rest my hand. Wouldn't have to have it hovering in such a weird way. Probably be more accurate. Okay. I shouldn't have gone for that. I'm gonna have five more attempts and then I'll leave it. Okay. I'll have to sell some of the stuff that I've gotten. Focus.
1900, damn it! <laughs> okay. I think I was two more off getting, um, the 2000. I almost had it. Ah. I mean, look, that that is one of the rewards. Here we go. I don't want to run out of money because there's other stuff I need to buy, so. Grateful for like these a little bit larger than normal hitboxes. Oh, but I, I didn't lose 50 points. I guess I should be grateful. I don't think I'm gonna make it now, but. Let's see. Fuck! Nah, now nah, I'm definitely not making it. I just lose all focus the moment it, it, that happens. Yeah. Alright. I have to do this without breaking combo. Even that one time I got the 1900, like that was hard. I feel like without breaking the combo, I'd get it. 
Okay, two more attempts. I said five, so... Including this one. This is very strict for a minigame. Getting heart pieces is usually not that tedious. Also, sorry I can't catch up on chat, but like, <laughs> I have to focus on the minigame. So officially, like, hit that point where my inner child is screaming, no, you can do this. Definitely gotten better at it. It's just. <laughs> it's so strict. It's so strict. Minigames for heart pieces usually have some wiggle room where you don't have to be completely perfect. The moment you lose your chain, like, that's it. It's very hard to come back from it. You miss two shots in a row. Yeah, this is done. I think they should have allowed the chain to go to, say, 70 or something, and that probably would have balanced it a bit better. Because then you get really rewarded for doing well, and then if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to maintain perfection for that amount of time. Alright, well I got another prize. No, I didn't. I just lost it. Why am I being so stubborn with this? Thank you. 
Oh my god, I just fucked it up. <laughs> 1900 again because I missed the one shot. <laughs> as soon as I missed it, my heart sunk. Because I knew, I was like, ugh. Oh, I'm so close. I just have I just have to do that again but not miss. I hate this. I hate this. Prize. Also, hey, cookie. Sorry, I'm not focusing <laughs> chat a lot. <laughs> I just I can't think of anything else but beating this game right now. I mean, can you tell when I'm playing it? Like I'm almost silent now. You really, you really can't miss. You really can't miss. You really, really, really can't miss. Not only that, it's not, it's not just that is you can't miss a shot and you have to pretty much shoot all of them. This is probably the strictest I've seen a Zelda minigame be. to RNG as well, like sometimes it'll just present you with a scenario that you can't really shoot your way out of. I'm tilted now, so <laughs> this one's over.
Oh my god, I even played that so it wasn't risky. And it still fucked me. <laughs> I was like, nah, nah, wait. Wait for it, that one's too risky, and then it still screwed me over. I'll be able to make the money back with the prizes I've earned, so I'm not concerned about the money at this point. It's okay, I can miss the first shot, it's fine. Why, why is it like this? You can't miss. <laughs> so annoying. That almost fucked me. I did not miss a single one and I still got 1900. I mean, miss a single shot. I let some pass, but... This is brutal. That time, that was a perfect run. I did not miss a single arrow. It's just, I let one go. But even then, I still would have been... Even if I hit that one... The score still would have been 1950. Yeah, this is this is not this is not good. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's Liza! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! How long was I here for? I, I need a stretch. Oh, fuck. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> I had to... I had to death stare that. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> that was way too much effort. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we can leave. Ugh. Oh, I, I tried my hardest to not look at the score. But I, I looked, and it was 1950, and I clenched so hard because I saw how much time was left. Oh, man. Oh, hello. There's something I haven't marked here. Anyway, sorry I was a little antisocial there. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to have a conversation about other stuff when you have to be laser focused. If the game if the mini game was more lenient, it would have been easier to just look at chat and talk, but this was one of these times where I just had to shut up and just pay attention to what I was doing. So, apologies. <laughs> but it's done! I don't even remember why I came to this island. Like, it just feels like it was an eternity ago now. I just asked remind us if I could put up... Pull up all these stone tablet nuisances, and he got upset. I guess off to the next island. It's not what I was looking for. Alright. I remember now. I'm just gonna double check for sanity, but it's not this island. Okay. Yes. The pro I'll, I'll repeat the problem I was having with that minigame. Because the, these are older touch screens, and kids, if you don't know why that's important, older touch screens, they didn't detect your palm. So anything that would touch it would register an input, so I have to, like, hold the pen in a way where my hand isn't touching it. And it, it just gets so uncomfortable after a while. So yeah. That's why that's a... Not just that, the game, the minigame was way too strict. <laughs> just way too strict. I don't think the minigame was hard, it's just the fact that you did it. There were two things. You couldn't miss, and you had to shoot enough targets. If you miss once, you lose your combo, there's no way you're racking up 2,000. And even if you didn't miss, you had to be... In the last five seconds, you have to shoot really quickly, otherwise it just doesn't count. I think they should have allowed the combo to go up to 70, so then you don't have to hold the combo for long. Anyway, it's done. Oh. It's one of the most frustrating heart pieces I've had to get in a while. Do we need to go to Isle Gus? I'm trying to remember which island is the one that has the salespeople, but we'll figure it out.
Oh man, my eyes. <laughs> I was there for half an hour, at least. Jumping for the first. Uh. Oh, those are a dame for the warrior thing. Well, I mean, I probably should have done it when I won, but oh well. Oh, yes! See, this is the dude that wants the mermaid. That's not what. That's not who I'm after. All right. At any rate. Hopefully she won't notice. There, that island isn't marked on our charts, Lankles. And it looks like we can dock there. There, I've just added it to your chart. Why not set course for it? Quickly before she... Yep. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay, what is this? What? Look at the upper screen. There's no map of this island. That means no one's ever even set foot here. Think of all the undiscovered treasure. That doesn't make sense. How could there be if no one has... <laughs> Maybe someone who knows diddly about treasure. Um, buried something? Bah, whatever. I just know that there's treasure here, Lankles. I sniffed it out. Now, you go find it. Maybe around the middle of the island. I think this one is... I need to draw a map. Oh, okay. Um, let's just draw a circle for the boing thing. Did I get it? I did. I'm kind of exhausted. <laughs> I'm just so much. Suspicious. Okay, well, whatever that was. Hmm. 
tent. On this isle, a golden chief dwells. He can harness the power of sea cyclones. At his request, I am here to prevent just anyone from entering the chamber. You must free yourself by hitting my four bodies in a very specific order. To figure out the order, you must solve the island's enormous riddles. The order is very specific. I'm going to say it. Rudder, sp rudder spray, paddles, sea. Okay. Rudder, spray, paddles. I'm gonna run out of room. And then C. Okay. Well, this is the C. That would be spray up here. is the real. Okay. Right, so I hit the right one, anyway. Rudder. Spray. Did you know there are golden frogs around the sea that can kick up cyclones? Okay. Rudder. Did you know you can fly to a variety of spots using cyclones? There we go. The eye sees something valuable that's hidden underneath its statue. Okay. Frogs! Well, by my golden gizzard, a slow toe child. Whatever brings you here, Sloto. You stand in the presence of Gold Chief Cyclos. I'm so fantastic that I'm the only frog hereabouts who leaps by cyclone. Slicker. 
Sloto, is that not the Phantom Hourglass you carry? It certainly means, most certainly and undoubtedly, that you know old Oceus. We go way back, that old codger and me. You took good care of me, that's for certain. We're trying to save a girl named Tetra, a good friend of Lankel's, as this says. We must defeat Balam to save her, and to save the Ocean King as well. Balam, you say? I've heard of that dreadful creature from my guilt minions. I heard that Balam has the power to siphon the energy from living things. Oh, it will be a horrible ordeal, felling a creature like that. But we have to save Tetra and the Ocean King, so we have no choice. Ah, but the sea must seem very vast for beings such as yourselves. Very vast. Let me help with a gift, Blankles. <laughs> that looks like a GBA game. The Cyclone Slate. That is the Cyclone Slate. By drawing symbols on it, you can ride Cyclones too. Want to leave somewhere elsewhere with your ship? Then spring into action with the Slate. Could you tell us more about these symbols? My gift minions are strewn over the seas. Six minions total, sparkling in the sun. Find them. Ask them. They each know one symbol. By drawing the symbols on the slate, your ship will fly to that spot in a flash. So all we need to do is meet the golden frogs and learn their symbols. But are you really sure that we can take something so wonderful with us? I can't just let it sit here on my flippers and do nothing for the Ocean King's allies. The sea is vast and that will help you bridge distances. Our deepest thanks, your golden majesty. No, no, that's Golden Chief. Okay. We are done here. I just need to go dig up the treasure. Oh, uh, the eye. Sees a treasure. Cyclone Slate, that sounds like that will make sailing a breeze. Let's keep an eye out for those gold-plated froggies out there. Ready to sail? Yep. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't go that way because what's her face is there. Maybe we'll run into a gold frog already. Ah, <sighs> oh, you know what? <laughs> My steady hand with the touchscreen has, uh, I suffered a little, let's just say that. good today. I haven't really done damage to the salvage arm. This shows how janky the input is, the fact that the switch is flicking up and down. Ah! 
Alter. Uh, you know what? No, that's good because I have. That's two tropical parts. Hopefully, she disappears by the time I get that. Change course. Oh, she might, she might catch me. Damn it. Well, I want to go. I hit go. Why? Why isn't? Why isn't it going? This. This is just irritating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Come on, let's fight. again. I have one last thing to say. Uh, remember this day and remember it well. Hear me? Alright, Linebeck, you can come out. You say what you will about that girl. She knows how to imitate a pirate. Linebeck, professional crate inspector. Kind of catchy, don't you think? Here's a tip for giving that crazy girl the heave-ho for me, Lankles. Hey, we're shipping out, Lankles. Let's put these waters behind us. I forgot that I have to visit the ship. Oh, what? It didn't die. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's alright, it doesn't really do anything. I had a feeling that was about to happen too. It's you, and how are you? Want me to train you? No. What? Yeah, but was said to meet brother. I guess we haven't had a need for it. Okay, setting course. I think I just shot a seagull.
my problem. Holy crap, that's annoying. Alright, salvage just to get him to load. This one's different. Come on. <laughs> that was good. That was skill right there. Apparently that pirate dropped treasure, so it does, it is a thing. How would you even get in there without damage? Okay, well. First hit of the day. Sorry, it won't cost much to fix that. Could've gone worse. This is probably just treasure on anyway. it's nothing important. Okay, we're out of here.
What? Oh, go away. Really told him? find who to deliver the letter to. I mean, maybe it's later, but I do remember it. Okay. Must fix the salvage arm first. Okay, we got tropical ship now. Peaceful bridge. So, sure. demon chimney. What is demon chimney? Oh. Okay. Look at my beautiful ship. What a work of art. Apparently has a combination of five, so, hey. Okay. Fifteen hundred? Nice! Thank you. That, yeah. So, you know, what I spent on that mini game. <laughs> yeah. Pay it for itself. Quiver, please. Just making sure it didn't refresh the shop. Alright, I need to find Beetle's ship real quick. There's no Beetle ship here. I guess let's go this way. Here that uh, there was nothing special here. Well, at least as a requirement.
Yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> but I shouldn't make it to the island. Wow, what in the world is this? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Not again. Whoa, that was crazy. Who did that cyclone think it was anyway? The engine got soaked. We're stuck. Uh, hang on. Does something feel odd to you? Ah, look, kid. What is that disgusting thing? And at a time like this, this day couldn't get worse. Okay, we need to face, it, face up to it, Lankles. A monster like that, who knows how to deal with it, maybe. Oh, fire! Yeah, as long as you keep shooting, we might just survive this. I'll man the machinery, you aim and fire. Well, that was very short lived. Didn't help that I had 50 pirates attack me on the way here. That just did not seem very fair. We're gonna take a more incognito route. Hopefully. Okay, so it looks like they're in a fixed location. How come it hit me? There's no way to sail. I think I got the health back. How did we do that? We sent it to the bottom of the sea, Lankles. And hey, the engines had a chance to dry out, so set our course. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay. Goron Island. Hey, look at the map. No houses. I wonder if there is any pure metal here. Ha, huh, amateur. Places like this have always had treasure stowed somewhere. Fine then, you supposedly have a nose for this, so we'll follow your instincts. Can't say if it's pure metal we'll find, but whatever we scare up, it's all mine. I'm chewing on Otis's, uh, the Ocean King's offer, Lankles. He'll grant any wish that I whip up, but what could you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure, right? Or maybe you'd wish for three more wishes. Line back. You don't understand Lankles at all, do you? He's doing this for Tetra, for the Ocean King, and to bring peace to the seas. Hmm. You're sort of a good guy, Lankles. Wow, that was out of character for me, wasn't it? Blech, go then. Get out of my sight and fetch some of that pure metal. Well, that was weird. Lionbeck must have eaten something funny. Whatever, Lankles. Let's go look for that pure metal. Next time we will look for the pure metal. Uh, we're going to play Metroid now. <laughs> that minigame tired me out, so... I need to change the scene, but we're up to the next phase, so I think it's good progress for today. Uh, yeah, give me a couple minutes as I need to set up the switch, so it'll, it'll just be a very short intermission, and uh, then we'll continue Metroid, so stay tuned. But if you were here for Phantom Hourglass, thanks for watching, or if you're watching later on YouTube, hope you are enjoying so far. See you next time. Bye, YouTube.